it is very important for kids to begin to be more independent. And our little ones, the littles, um, have no clue what diabetes is about, and they're surrounded with fear and angst from all their parents and loved ones, and a lot of unknown from school teachers and, and caregivers. So their opportunity to get together and, and learn that I can do this is really very, very powerful. Um, one of our little campers has uh, given injections. I said, so do you give your own injections? He said, if I have to, if I want to go stay overnight with a friend, I have to. So um, we sort of negotiated for him to give his injections at camp this week. And, and it seems like today it's easier for him than it was yesterday. Uh, we actually had a few tears yesterday. But you know, it's, you've got to get this done and get on with it, because there's lots of fun things to do. The other thing, though, you know, when you say, did someone get it? I have been really impressed with the sort of sense of accomplishment, not just around diabetes skills, but the climbing wall yesterday. We've got first graders. I mean, we've got one that's going into first grade. And they got right out there, put the helmet on, strapped up, and climbed. We had three, three of our group that climbed all the way to the top. And you know, they'd get to the top, they'd look down, and they'd have that grin. They did it. It was a huge sense of accomplishment. Diabetes did not stop them from doing anything. Yesterday, when the parents were picking up the campers, I said to one of the moms, the blood sugars haven't been perfect today. We've done a few corrections, and we've tried to really be on top of it. She said, I'm not worried about it. I know there's lots of people here that can help take care of it. And it really is a relief to me to have a day off. I love camp. Uh, when I was a nursing student, I got to go to the very first diabetes camp in Kansas. And I knew nothing about diabetes, but that was it. The little campers were giving shots, doing urine testing. You know, they got that right out of the way because they wanted to get on with all the fun things to do at camp. That got me by the heartstrings. And so this opportunity to get to help with camp is the way I recharge my batteries. It's the reminder about my passion for diabetes. And it's what helps me sort of be able to help those that are affected by diabetes, whether it's the kids or the parents or their loved ones that are around them. So um, everything we do is based on blood sugars, and that's sort of our moment-to-moment -moment data that we react to. And so when it's time to eat a meal, we need to know what that blood sugar is so we can dose the insulin based on the amount of carbs and the insulin ratio that that camper has. So that blood sugar testing, uh, important to clean a finger, uh, get a drop of blood, and then put that drop of blood on the test strip. And I've got to tell you, the kids want to do it themselves. And I love that because they're so tiny. The Lansing devices, of course, are just the one-time use. And they're a little awkward and a little tough. And the campers kind of figure it out like that. They want to do it themselves. More of that independence. Well, I'll tell you, camp in general. I'm from Kansas, and I love The Wizard of Oz. And I think that message sort of embodies camp. You have the courage, you have the heart, and you have the brains. And it takes all of those things to be able to deal with diabetes. And I think that camp helps bring all of that out of our campers, and it helps our parents be able to deal with it. So it takes all of those things that, that sort of help you realize you've got what it takes inside. And the experiences at camp help you realize all of that. We're all here because of that part of the mission that says we want to help those people affected by diabetes. And that just brings us all together.